I'm Tom Haley, and this is Bluegrass Region Voices and Views. I'm spotlighting the Keeneland Track Kitchen. Imagine you live in Lexington or anywhere in central Kentucky, and you have friends or family visiting from out of town. Instead of preparing breakfast for them at home, you want to get out around the bluegrass and experience our culture. Finding a great locally owned restaurant is easy. We have plenty of those. But what if you could combine the breakfast experience with a beautiful, famous place to tour without moving your car? You've probably been to Keeneland during racing season, and you have it on your list of places you'd like your guests to experience. But maybe it's not racing season. That's good. Here's why. You can have breakfast at Keeneland and maybe even with some jockeys and trainers and then see the track and horses, and all for under $10 per person. I highly recommend taking your guest to the Keeneland Track Kitchen for breakfast. I'm often surprised by how many locals don't know about this place. I went there last Saturday and had the breakfast special and coffee for $8.50 plus tip. I chose bacon, scrambled eggs, a biscuit with gravy, and spiced apples. Next time, I'll add a side of grits for $1. This is a cafeteria for the jockeys, trainers, and other people who work at the track to have breakfast and lunch during their workday. They need to get in and out and back to work, so it's all very efficient. It's not a slow-moving, made-to-order, white tablecloth place. Thank goodness. This is a place I can go and wear my cargo pants and keep my hat on and feel at home. And it's not a hole in the wall. They have their own nice building with parking and restrooms and large windows. I did a quick count, and I think they can easily seat about 110 people. After breakfast, we'll walk up Old Clubhouse Lane through the barn area to the racetrack. If we get lucky, some horses will be exercising. Each time I've been there, we've been able to walk around the grandstand area. I don't know if that's always open. If it's not, someone from security will probably let you know. If you want to have a complete experience, you could take one of the guided tours of Keeneland and then have lunch. Information is on the Keeneland website. To find the track kitchen, drive into the main entrance off Versailles Road. This is Keeneland Boulevard. They have large green signs that direct you to all the venues. Follow the directions to the track kitchen. It's next to the large black water tower. Of course, it's wise and fun to look it up on Google Maps and use the satellite view. Then you can tour the grounds as if you're hovering over it in a helicopter. And move that little yellow man in the bottom right-hand corner around and browse the street view images. This homework will help a lot when you're there. Park in the lot next to the track kitchen at the corner of Silks Lane and Track Kitchen Drive. You could also park in front of the kitchen. Either is fine. It's all free. If the lots are pretty full, don't let that stop you from walking in. Not all those cars represent people in the restaurant. Most likely, there are plenty of tables available, and the line moves fast. Your guests will have a bluegrass region experience they will be thankful for, and they'll owe you a great experience when you visit them. Thanks for listening, and Let's get out around the bluegrass. Mm -hmm.